Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome back to my tutorial. This is Gene Island School and here we will learn about the basic genetic engineering, biotechnology and molecular biology. Keep with us and inspire us to make the tutorials for you for the betterment for the basic knowledge of you. Today we will learn a very important topic that is uh, related to replication of DNA. The programs are uh, today we will learn that's a replication for our uh, leading stand and lagging stand, what is the Okazaki fragment, and leading stand versus lagging stand. What is the difference between the leading stand and lagging stand? So the first topic is replication fork. First, we have to know what is the replication fork. Here, you see this. This is a DNA. So, here is the one stand and here is the two stands of DNA. So, when replication occurs, the two strands are break down in that region. So, that region. The replication fork is that structure and that is forms within the nucleus. You know, replication forms the nucleus or the among the DNA. We know that DNA is found in the nucleus. So, replication is found in the DNA. It is created by helicase. Helicase enzyme create the replication fork. This is a fork that means this the bubble type you see that that is the DNA and here you see this a bubble and that is the bubble so the helicase enzyme is responsible for that bubble and that is separated to strand here you see that the strand might go like that but it is separated by the enzyme helicase that is the main Topic uh, main is that is the main characteristics of replication fork. And here you see that the origin of replication. That is another definition. What is the origin of replication? From where the replication happens, the replication start, or from where the replication originates. That's called the origin of replication. In the middle of you see that in the middle of the bubble, the replication bubble, the replication start from here. So that is called the origin of replication. I think that's clear to you. That is a DNA strand, that is two DNA strands, that, that is the DNA. By helicase enzyme, the replication start and the DNA strands make bubbles like that. And the strains are separated and that is the origin of replication from where the replication starts so our next topic is leading strand and lagging strand here you see that the old strand 5 prime and that is 3 prime strand that is the replication for from where replication started that means from where the bubbles form sorry not started the form where the bubbles form and the strains are separated the, 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 this strand goes from here and this strand goes there so what we have to do now the leaking, leading strand synthesized in the same direction as the growing replication fork that is the same direction that means the leading strand is the strand. The leading strand is the strand. Same direction that means that is a 5 prime to 3 prime strand and that is the same. That means the strand starts from the 5 prime to 2 3 prime. So in the same direction that works. I said I repeat again that is the 5 prime to 3 prime strand and 
the leading state start like this chain like 5 time to 3 time here new strength forms that is 5 time to 3 time a polymerase enzyme is needed you know the polymerase make the proper nucleotide sequence that means a that here is a t t g a c g and a a t c g c t g c are formed by polymerase enzyme the perfect bases are attached by the dna polymerase enzyme and now we have to know what is the lagging strand that is the lagging strand the lagging strand is the strand of the dna whose direction is opposite from where opposite to the direction of the growing replication form this means the replication form from opposite here you see that there is the 5 prime to 3 prime and the leading string is also 5 prime to 3 prime but in here there is 3 prime to 5 prime strength but the lagging strength is 5 prime to 3 prime strength that is the opposite direction from the replication form so there is a little bit complicated from the leading strength for so the lagging strength the strength can't grow continuously this grows discontinuously forming okazaki fragment in the next slide we will learn okazaki fragment so where here we will only know the what is the lagging strength the lagging strength small rna primers here small rna primers are added to complete the strength so i said that the leading strength continuously can grow but the lagging strength cannot continuously grow it discontinuously grows by making Okazaki fragment and RNA primer is added to complete the strand. So here we will learn about Okazaki fragment. Here is the Okazaki fragment. Small portion of DNA strand, the small portion of DNA strand that is called the Okazaki fragment. That is the Okazaki fragment and that is the Okazaki fragment. Ligase enzyme is added to attach the fragments. Here, no ligase is needed, but here, ligase is needed to attach the two strands. And the small strands of DNA is called Okazaki fragment. As the same like the before, the DNA that is from leading strand, that is lagging strand, and this short term. DNA strands are called the lagging strand and the uh, sorry the sh short form of strands are called the Okazaki fragment and these are lagging strand and that is Okazaki fragment. Finally, what is the difference between leading strand and lagging strand? There is a few difference among the leading strand and lagging strand. So, first difference is that replicated strand of DNA which grows continuously that means in leading strand the replication continuously grows but in lagging strand it is discontinuous here no DNA ligase is needed I said before but here DNA ligase enzyme is needed, needed to attach the two fragment that is the another difference that is that leading strand can rapidly go so the rapid formation is happens here but in lagging strand that is not rapidly goes here cause we know that in lagging strand RNA primers are added to complete the strand so the strand are separated with many particular parts so this is a part and this is a part you know that these parts are called Okazaki fragments the so so there are so many fragments are happens and this is this is not rapid so this 
so this is the trapezoid in the uh, lagging stand formation that is the another difference between the leading stand and lagging stand that's all today about the basic definition of replication for leading stand and lagging stand okazaki fragment and the leading stand versus lagging stand thanks for watching if you like that please like us comment about the topic you want to know share with your friends who are leading for reading genetic engineering biotechnology and obviously please subscribe us if you subscribe us if you comment or like us we are inspired and we will will be inspired to make more videos for you more la uh, easy learning for you stay with us thank you stay well